beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today is going to be my June favorites. It will probably be up later than usual than what I like it to be, but uh, I had some other videos that I wanted to get up and just, you know, just been busy. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I wanna go ahead and start in with my uh, hair care and skincare like I always do, and then I'll work into the cosmetics. So for hair products, um, should be no surprise, is the uh, Moisture Vitamin B5 Weightless Oil Mist from OGX. I had shown this in my last favorites. Um, I actually did a video on it and just gave a little info on it. Um, so I could put that link down below. Just really love this stuff. Makes my hair soft and shiny and just really gives something that my hair, I think, just lacks and needs. So really love this stuff the other thing that i'm really enjoying for my hair is this here this is from the com company called beautiful nutrition which you can find them on amazon um, i'm not sure if they're in anything else as of right now but amazon.com there um, i did do a video and um, i can also put a link to that and it is the ultralight uh, leave in leave in or rinse out frizz solution and this has a wonderful lime fruit extract it says per application um, yeah it just has a really nice citrus scent it's very liquidy and which that's what it's supposed to be but this thing's going to last me a very long time it does help give my hair some healthy look to it and shine to it and everything so i really like this and another thing is the three minute miracle moist it's three times the moisture in three minutes from the Aussie uh, company. Um, I really, really like this. This is a really good product and for four bucks, it is pretty reasonably priced. Um, you know, so if you're looking for a hair mask and you're maybe on a budget or something like that, this is a really good one. They have several different kinds. So there's like a variety of different things like problem solvers. So it's not just, um, one for moisture there's like several different kinds and then in for face we're going to go ahead and get into face um i've been using my vitamin c even glow serum the Valen valentina um i have it in the box here because i try to keep it preserved a little bit more um did a whole video on this really love this again a nice citrus scent i just if you don't like citrus scents probably aren't gonna like the products that have the citrus scents i like a good citrus scent so that's just me um i do i just love it so, um, the other thing is, I, I just, I love this stuff. It's from the Key West Aloe Company, and this is the Cucumber Under Eye, um, eye gel stuff that you can put under your eyes. It's very cooling, refreshing, but it does help the puffiness and everything. It's just a really nice product. I really enjoy this very much. I use this mostly during the daytime. Also, I have really, really been liking the L'Oreal age perfect glow serum i guess there's a couple different glow serums like this oil based kind of um serums from them and this one's the glow renewal just love this stuff i use this at night though i don't use it during the day i use it at night um i just i like it that way but i always like putting um if i do have any kind of oils i do prefer putting them more on at night and then sleeping and you know just kind of letting them go through and uh, moisture my skin more I and then the other thing that comes from that line, which I'm looking now, and I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to get some because I love this stuff too. I've been really liking it. Is the Age Perfect Cell Renew Renewal Golden Serum. I will be doing a video and different things on these um, coming up, like a review and just a little uh, information and that. And, um, for also for my face, I purchased this. This will be in a haul video that I had up. It's the Coors uh, Kiwi, uh, Kiwi, what is it? Gentle Exfoliating Scrub. It's for dry skin. Oh my goodness, this stuff smells amazing and is really great. Um, obviously, if you have oily skin or sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend this because the granules are kind of a little bit scratchy. Not extreme scratchy, but you know, but very nice. For moisture, sometimes I do do this at night depending um, for on my face, but I definitely like to put it on my body, but sometimes I do put it on my face, is this Queen Helen Marilla 
face and body cream. It protects and renews and it's age defying. Um, it's restoring, restoring, restoring moisture. Um, and it's for face and body. It even says it on there. So you can use it for your face or your body. Now, if I'm putting this on my face at night, obviously, and very little. I don't use a whole lot, just very little. So um, you can mix it in with the oil a little bit and kind of get your own little thing going. And I wake up and it just, it feels amazing. My face just really feels amazing. So I really love this. If you have dry skin, definitely this four bucks for a four dollars for a 15 ounce and it smells good too it smells like i don't it just smells like heaven it's very very thick it just smells so good to me it has some kind of cookie kind of sugar cookie smell i don't know it just smells great the other thing i've really been loving for my face and i another Queen Helen and I'm telling you Queen Helen has pretty good products for your face and for the price they're really good I mean they've worked for me so far obviously it might not work for everybody but I just really think you get a really good bang for your buck as they call it and this is the Queen Helen mud um, mud pack mask toxin relief revitalize and detoxifies um, like just pulling all that crappy gunk from your pores um, and it's anti-aging also and um, it, it's just it's a really good the smell I'll be honest does it, it has like that natural or maybe just maybe a little chemical smell I'm not sure but um, that's what it looks like there and I love this it really makes my skin soft. I'm telling you, Queen Helen, I find mine in Sally Beauty Supply. Um, I do see online sometimes, I think Walmarts and maybe Targets. I don't know. I'm not sure. You might have to search online, which I think you can purchase Queen Helen online too. So for the lips is the Nivea Lip Butter and Caramel Cream Kiss. Oh my stars. Just love this thing. I put it on every night before I go to bed and then I even put it on right before I put any lip gloss lip or well lipstick any kind of lip product I'm going to be putting on my lips and this definitely oh, just smells amazing and I'm hoping I can get another one but I'm thinking the caramel kiss might have only been out like around the fall time I don't know it was like for makeup <clears throat> I do have a good bit of makeup and then I feel like I don't but I've been playing around with so many products because I have purchased different products here and there and I've just been playing around and pulling this pulling that so but I had to really think about it and I thought well, what am I grabbing the most of you know obviously because then obviously that's you know a favorite of mine so I had to think in that part um, first thing let's do a brush a makeup brush which is the powder brush from Real Techniques I think that's what it is the powder brush yes the powder brush from real techniques very soft very smooth I just love how it moves very great brush I like a lot of the real techniques brushes um, just love that um, totally totally which no surprise for me but I well I guess I shouldn't say no surprise because I wasn't sure because I've never had a um, highlight or contour palette um, at all like I've had bronzers and stuff and played with them but I've never had a you know contour highlight palette and I have been using this very much as you can see it's just it's a really really great contour highlight palette I think it is I'm so glad that I invested in it put it that way and the brush is amazing I, for a foundation I've been doing the Superstay Better Skin from Maybelline, the new one, and this is a really good foundation. Um, there's just some factors that I have problems with it um, a little bit because it does seem to, because the more I've been working with it and using it, it does seem to, by the end of the day, make my face look a little more oily, um, but I think it's a good foundation um, and I do, I do like it, so, and playing around with it. Um, I have, I have enjoyed it, 
but I think on my review, because there will be a review video up, and it's probably going to be up before this, maybe after this, I'm not sure, but I will have a review on these, this and the um, concealer. And I did at first say that I really enjoyed this more than my Rimmel Wake Me Up, but I'm not so sure. Now I'm having a problem, it's like, mm, you know, it's so funny when you're playing around with stuff, you, you just, I don't know. But I've been using that a lot with the concealer, the Better Skin Concealer. I have really been liking this concealer. It's really been working for me, which I guess it's a concealer and corrector. I didn't realize that neither until um, someone else had mentioned it in a video. And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, wow, okay. Because like, I do find it covers up my um, under eye, the circle, like the darkness or whatever. And it seems to correct and, and lighten. So um, mine's in light. I think it only comes in a few shades. Sometimes that's the only thing I find with some of these products, they only come in a few shades. And I really think a lot of them need to up the notch and kind of make more shades for more people. So, but really like this, very, very nice. So there will be a video up, so I'm not gonna go to whatever with it. Also, I have been using this though. And this I've been using by itself with my Laura Geller uh, Balance and Brighten or my 4-in-1 um, Pure Minerals that I like to use sometimes. And it is the Dr. Dines Hydro Show Tinted Moisturizer. And this is a tinted moisturizer, but oh my goodness, and that is what I have on today. I mean, I have this on with um, the concealer that I had showed. Um, and then uh, some of Mally's um, eye corrector, eye base, some of her eye base, and then I used um, the Balance and Brighten, and it just, it, it came out fine, so I'm really happy with it. So, um, yeah, the Dr. Dennis Hydro Shield Tinted Moisturizer, which I love her Hydro Shield line, this will really not only give you good coverage, but it's going to be good for your skin, so really, really love this. And speaking of Mally's eyeshadow base, her eyeshadow base is amazing. I mean, like, I sometimes, like, think, like, how amazing it really is because it's so versatile. Now, I do have the single of it because you can just, you can just buy her eye base, um, but it does come in a lot of her eyeshadow kits, which, oops, this is the um, Tribeca Taupe. Um, one that I like to use a good bit. I use it for the mirror and then sometimes I'll use this uh, shade here and then this is her eye base. And her eye base is really creamy but it covers up the redness a lot for me in certain areas and I would find that it works just as good as um, you know like a concealer would do. Um, so you can just get this by itself if you're ever interested in trying it because um, you can also obviously it's the eyeshadow base and you put it on your eyelids to help um, any darkness or anything on your eyelids and then also to help set your eyeshadows the other thing I don't have with me here but it's just colors in general is I've been using and I'm stuck on and I don't know it's just something I'm stuck on right now <clears throat> is using uh, purple and gold colors on my eyes. I don't know. It's just like the purple and gold. I've been using quite a bit I've used it with um, the palette that Rosa gave me it Has some purple tones and yellow tones and gold tones in it. And that's actually what I have on today on my eyes um, And the makeup artist palette two from makeup forever it Has some nice purpley golds in it um, I was trying to think. Oh a Lorac palette that I got um, the um, Dream Girl one. It's, it's just like I'm stuck on this purpley gold uh, theme. And like I said, that's kind of what I have on my eyes right now. So it's like I'm just stuck on purple and gold on my eyes. I just like it a lot. I don't know. Just like it a lot. So blushes. The two blushes I've been grabbing a lot, um, I've been playing around with different, 
different blushes, but the ones I've been grabbing a lot, especially this one, is one of the new ones I got, and it's from Lorac, and it's one of the baked, the baked blushes, and this one's in uh, Flaunt. It's the Bake Matte Satin Blushes, but this one's in Flaunt. It's a real pretty pink color. It's like a hot pink. And unfortunately, my camera's not even doing justice, but that's it right there. It's Flaunt, and it has a nice, like, sheen to it, so it kind of you know, just real pretty. And then the other one, I'm not seeing these, I'm not seeing these on Ulta except I think one shade, one shade, and I don't know if it's still there or what. They're small, I can't even remember how much they were, like 11 or 12 bucks, but they're the Ulta uh, Mineral Blush. This one's in Sweet Pea, and I wanted to get some other shades because I thought, oh my god, these are just, these are really great great blushes and that's it there that's sweet pea and I, I just right there it is I really like it I do have the sample of the Becca Opal um, I got in a kit it was one of the Sephora kits that they give you I get it <laughs> I totally get the love of why people love this so much um, it is very smooth and I, I just, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. There it is right there. So pretty. I might try and get the other one. I think, what is it, Moonstone or something? Some said it works really great for fair complexion people. Fergie Take on the Day Powder. This is an awesome setting powder. I really love it. It really makes my pores invisible. It go. It makes just makes my whole look like I'm actually sweating right now. It is very hot here. I'm gonna show you. Like it just. I don't know if you can see though. I guess I'm saying I'll show you, but it just goes on so nice, and oh, it just really helps set my makeup but it just my pores like it just makes just makes me look flawless put it that way I, it's crazy I don't know I just I love it that's all I can say love so I would highly recommend this because it's only like three so almost four bucks so another product that is amazing to set for under the eyes before or after you do your eye makeup is the Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother. This stuff is awesome. It's almost it's like a moisturizer when it first comes out. It's not that real thick silicone like the one that you put on your face. Like it's not that real thick texture. It's more of a moisturizing a moisturizer texture, and it is so great to put on. You can do it before. You do anything under your eyes or you can do it after you're all said and done with your makeup and just set it on there and it just smooths, smooths everything out here. Just, I love it. The two mascaras I've been using a lot, I've been using them either together or separately. Um, and I haven't been going through many mascaras, but that's because um, I know there's like a, a three month kind of thing for mascaras and I don't like to open up too many mascaras. And then have like five or six of them and then there you are so I don't kind of want to waste it that way in some sense and um, especially when you're on a budget sometimes you know so of course the super sizer from covergirl love this mascara I think it gets great um, the wand on this one is so uniquely different compared to any wand that I've used it's it grabs the lashes very nice I really love this one um, and then the uh, Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara this is another one that really grips a hold of the lashes and um, yeah they're both they're both really good mascaras one's more pricey a little more and higher and the other one's more affordable so depending both kind of do almost the same thing I feel kind of give you some volume but also length so yeah and then last but not least, 
Um, I'm stuck on lilacs in general, purples, lilacs, whatever. And um, I just like I've been using these two quite a bit. Um, I do have other other lip products or lipsticks that I've been using, but I've used these quite a bit within this month several times. So it's kind of why I'm sharing these ones. And this one here is one of the CoverGirl Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this one is in the number 10. And it's in Darling. I was trying to see. So that one's in Darling. And it's, you know, real pretty lilac-y, purpley color. And... The one, like I put that on first, line my lips, put that on, and then I put this on top of it, which is uh, one of the Maybelline um, Color Whispers, and this one is in number 90, Ooh La La, Ooh La, La Lilac, is it Ooh La Lilac, Ooh La Lilac, how are you going to say that? Um, so there you are there, I put that on top with that put those two together kind of a thing and then today my husband just got me this so I'm probably gonna put it obviously in my haul video but I couldn't help it I wanted to do it was in one of the covergirl lip lavas um, he got me this one here yeah 840 I'm not sure something might be something lilac it's so hard to read those because the shine on there you know it's gonna reflect on there but but I put this on top of all that just to you know try it out because my husband just got that for me today and I thought oh with the whole lilac-y purple thing I've been doing this will all go together perfect so and it did and there you go and it's that top one so I did all three so, anyways, thanks so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I really appreciate it very much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can come and join me each week. I have some videos up, and just share all kinds of beauty, beauty things, beauty items, beauty topics, just anything to do with beauty. So you can join me each week, and just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, and. As always, please, please remember just to be yourself and love yourself and just let your beauty shine through, all right? And another thing I want to say at the end of this is always remember, because I have beauties of all age, you know, I, I enjoy beauties of all age. Just remember your age doesn't define who you are. Just remember that, you know, it doesn't matter your age, it just, it doesn't defy the person that you have become, or the person that you're becoming, and who you are, so, something to think about, and, uh, take in a little bit, so, alright, thanks so much for joining me, really appreciate it, love y'all, bye-bye.